Oh, two unread messages. That's kind of confusing, though. I don't know why I'm seeing two unread messages right here, man. I'm just going to look. Someone that I reported on the 28th of February got banned, then someone from the 14th of January this year got banned. Huh, okay. Well, that's four people banned in literally the past, like two days now that I've seen, so. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and hop on the server, though, my friends. Do we have any new things inside the item store? No, not yet, okay. Just need to make sure. Okay, and so right now we're pretty much all logged in. We're logged in right now, and I don't think that we're rated because I don't have a door, like, inside my vault, because I have a one by two vault, right? And then I have the vault seal, and there's no door that goes into the vault seal. Like, like there's a door frame, but there's no door inside of the door frame. So if anyone rated me, they would have destroyed my vault and killed me. So if I got rated, technically I should be dead is what I'm saying. Um, click. Not rated. Holy fuck, let's go. Nice. I'm not joking when I say that I was literally gonna get on here ready to just do the exact same thing as yesterday. And just get scrap and just grind. I'm not even kidding. Let's go ahead and destroy, destroy this right here. The good old vault. Hello there. I don't know how he, okay. He's just always there. What's going on on the computer station right now, though? I can turn up the audio for you guys. Um... And I'm seeing a rib here, a large oil rig, but the scientists are still here. There's nothing really to see at large, just a bunch of scientists. What about... Okay, bandit camp looks... Pretty quiet. This right here is normal oil rig, no one is there. And then there is someone that's over here at, uh, outpost. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that. Cool. It's actually just becoming coming daytime as I get on too, man. Thank God. Dude, I just love this computer station thing. It's just so handy. Um, what do I want to start out today doing? That's my question. Getting this thing full on sheet is probably a good idea. But then there's some people that like to comment and say, Dylan wonders why he gets raided. He likes to make a full sheet vault every time. So, like, should I just leave it stone then no one might touch it? I don't know. I mean... Probably not, right? I am based on the water, so like my base is pretty easy to find when it comes to like someone looking for a base to raid, but I feel like 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 I'm just looking at my base and it has the two armored foundations, a sheet foundation. Like I'm surprised that I'm not raided already. So <laughs> if I found my freaking base and I and I and like I had two C4 ready to just start raiding stuff, I would raid that my base in a heartbeat if I saw it. So yeah, we should probably get that upgraded to sheet today, at least. Yeah, no, pretty much just for a very, very quick recap, yesterday was just a super, super good startup day. Got on here, no BPs, no nothing, ended up getting up to Revolver, then Python, then LR Bolt, and then, like, you know, just, like, overall, like, we're just BP grinding, but in the mix we're getting some action, which I like. Yeah, I guess we could maybe just start our, uh, our day with a uh, run over to Oil Rig, I guess. I mean, it's, like, that's gonna be, like, our best bet when it comes to getting blueprints. And, well, I mean, like, unless car goes out, which, honestly, if I see car go out today as I'm on, then I'll go there. I guess I could just head there just with the LR gear set. The problem is with using this LR right now is that the durability of it is messed up, right? So I'm going to mainly just be using my bolt for uh, for a lot of it. One minute, dude, one minute. I need to freaking set up this zapper right here. Fuck, what was the number? 1850, I think? Not 100% sure. Before I go and do oil rig, I should just go out and just get a little bit of uh, frickin' metal and just start cooking it up, because I have a lot of wood to be cooking up resources, so I should just go out and just start getting uh, some metal. Go out and just start... Oh, shit. Or kill that guy. There should be a bolt guy that's over here somewhere that just now shot. Honestly, I'm assuming that I should be able to kill him. Alright, oh, guys, like, is it bad? Because, I like, I ended up cooking up some chicken today. And, oh shit. Like, I ended up cooking up some chicken today, and I'm wondering if... Yeah, there's three guys inside there. I'm wondering if, like, having a tiny bone go inside my uh, body is bad. Those guys, those guys are going to large oil rig right now, by the way. That's where they're going. Dude, if I... S Dude, like, if those guys were lower, I could actually kill them. I feel like. I'm almost wondering if I should maybe... Get on top of that mountain right there and just wait for those guys to, like, come by. There's those guys right there. I'm seeing a wolf headdress guy with a semi, then there's that guy right there that also has a semi. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm seeing right now, but okay. I don't know where the bolt guy that I heard shoot over here went. He should have been up here somewhere. Honestly, I should just go back home and just get on the large oil rig camera right now and then just see what those guys are doing over there. I mean, like, I'm assuming that they're just going to take it from the top and then just call in the heavies and whatever. It's going to be pretty straightforward, but... If I could somehow kill the dr or, like, the pilot of that thing on, like, their way home, 
Oh my god. Can you guys imagine? I think that I have HV bullets inside my freaking base too, like... If I just double, like, or, like, if I just headshot, body shot the freaking driver of that thing, then, like, it just falls, all their stuff is mine, period. Apparently my neighbor right here, I heard him yesterday as I was getting off. Yeah, I'm setting up a community fridge. That's empty. <laughs> Whoever walks up to that fridge is just gonna steal everything instantly, so that's... See somebody comment? This guy's voice sounds like it belongs on a Minecraft Let's Play, not gonna lie. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna see him here in a minute. Oh, there they are. Yep, them in their scrap heli, man. There it is. Look at them, guys. Look at them. There's three of them. Maybe four, but I think three. What am I supposed to think about this guy? Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I think there's actually... Yeah, there's four. Oh, my gosh. They're all going to be leaving on that scrap heli here in a bit, dude. Can you guys imagine... Just like dropping the driver of that shit, then they all just fall down to their death. It's like, how do you even loot them, though? It's like, how do you even loot, like, that many guys, right? Like, you just, or like, obviously I'm going to take metal face mask, metal chest pieces. That's going to be literally four sets, which is going to be eight slots in my inventory. All four guns, which some of them have two guns, most likely, like AK and Bolt. Oh my god, there's five, not even four, or, yeah, there's five. Why are these guys on this server, man? <laughs> Why do they choose to play on this server? It just doesn't make sense. Get on, like, fucking Rustified Small or, like, Rustified Main or just, like, a main server. Like, what are you guys actually doing? Dude, if I drop the... Okay, like, that's ten slots of just metal face masks and freaking chest pieces, guys. Like, if I kill these guys. Like, this is the problem with being a solo. Like, let's say that I even do kill all these guys, which is going to be, like, an amazing play, by the way. Like, if it happens. No matter how it happens, it's going to be, like, a, you know, like it's going to go down on my fucking history as a player, right? The thing about it is, like, I can't even fucking loot my, my like, hard-worked-for prize, you know? Like, I can't even loot everything that these guys are going to have. They're going to live far away, so maybe I can just, like, run back and loot them, but, like, there's going to be people, like, naked that, like, try to get, like, the rest of the shit, so. All that I know is that we have 15 minutes from right now to prep up for this if I actually want to do this. So, where's my HV bullets? I, I swore that I had some. Dude, I swore that I had... Dude, I swore that I had HV bullets. I swore that I did. Not that I have to have HV bullets, but it would it'd be somewhat helpful. But yeah, no, I don't even think that I have any. Okay. Um, and I still don't even have a freaking flashlight, of course. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and head on over to a uh, freaking, what's it called, guys? A supermarket, get some food, and then from that point... We gotta try and prep up somewhere. I don't really know exactly where. The closer that I am to large oil rig in the direction that like they came from, the better. But there's like a big, big mountain near Dome. And I think they came from that direction. Like if I could just get on top of that mountain, then they just like run right into me. Because the or because the scrap oil can go can only go so high. And if they're as high as possible, with me waiting closer to large oil rig, I'm gonna be very, very low compared to them. But if I try and challenge or like predict where they're going by going to the highest peak mountain I'm going to be somewhat near the the height of where they're going to be, which is going to make it easier to hit some shots on them, right? I don't know. Like, I've tried making different plays like this before, but it requires a certain amount of luck and, and skill, and definitely skill too. Like, I have to hit my shots at the end of the day, and that's definitely a skill-based thing. Okay, I thought that was someone that was no clipping for a second, but it's just a drone. You know, pretty much I'm going to get on the peak of this mountain, okay? This is a pretty high spot, probably the highest spot on this entire server. And they flew over this thing. So if they flew over it, listen. You guys know what that means, right? Not really like a crazy good chance to do this, but you know, we have uh, we have some sort of shot, I guess you could say, at killing all these guys. And I'm not gonna lie, like if they are like pretty like level with me, like when like they're coming back, I might not even use the bolt, man. I might just be better off just using LR8X. Like I have to kill these guys, loot them, and then go home, guys. Like how is this gonna work? I'm probably gonna miss so much shit. And I'm sorry if I do, guys, because listen, okay, not only do I have to kill these guys, loot them to make it home, there's also all the pressure within all of that stuff happening. Like, I'm not going to be able to think 100% straight, okay? It's easy for you guys to tell me what to do and think, like, what I should have grabbed and stuff, because you guys are kicked back, getting your feet rubbed, eating lasagnas, you watch. Like, you're just laid back right now, you know? Like, honestly, like, this whole thing might not go anywhere, but I feel like it... <clears throat> it should still be shown whether if, what, uh, you know, like whether if it happens or not. <gasps> there it is. Oh god, man, they're going so far to the right. They did not come from that way before. Yeah, those guys, uh... 
Yeah. There's probably no way that I can actually kill these guys. They are flying so high up. These guys are so careful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Here goes nothing. I'm still gonna freaking go for a shot, I guess. What in the world is going on? Okay, well, never mind about going for a shot on those guys. Not like it really would have worked out 100% anyway, but... Yep, loaded. What the fuck is this? Get me out of here. Um, not gonna lie, guys, I don't really feel comfortable looting this guy right now, but... Okay, I know, this is him, this is him, okay. Go like that, go like that. He has a stack of bullets, what do I swap out for that? Um, fucking kilt, I guess. Bullets are important, dude. Bullets over a kilt all day, right? Okay, what, okay, well, I mean, at least we got that, like, that's, that's still a ginormous come up. <laughs> that paid for the weight, I guess. How convenient, though, as soon as the scrap heli is, like, going right over me, a guy that just has an inventory of guns just appears. I got, like, as he was walking by, I was thinking, is this guy, like, somehow with him? But, like, that would make no sense, right? That was literally a solo player just transferring loot, I'm pretty sure. All right, now the whole thing uh, of making it home becomes a part of the equation, you know? We got the kill, we got the loot, now we just got to make it home with no one else bothering us. Because if someone gets a jump on me, insta melts me, it's over. That's it. They don't have to kill a teammate of mine, or multiple teammates of mine. Like, it, like it really is, like, such a, like, much harder thing, like, when you think about it. You die, it's over when you're solo. Unless you're close enough by your base to be able to come back outside in time. I just don't understand, like, how that even just now really happened. I need to look this up real quick. I swallowed a, sw uh, a small bone. I swallowed a chicken bone. Is it bad if I swallowed a chicken bone? So if you happen to swallow a chicken bone, you're probably going to be fine. The things you worry about swallowing are the things that are really sharp and things that are, that are really long. If they're sharp, they can puncture the intestines as they're working their way down. Do bones dissolve in stomach acid? Keep in mind that battery acid can dissolve materials like metal and bone. Stomach acid, with its pH balance, only one or two spots higher, can also do great damage to some strongest materials like bones and teeth. Oh, okay. So, and, like, when I say a bone, guys, I'm meaning, like, some small shit, like, a fucking third of a penny. You know, like, some small shit. Like, okay, we have flashlight now. We can finally learn this and start having a flashlight on our gun thanks to that guy. Literally yesterday, we ended up killing a revolver guy, python guy, uh, freaking LR bolt guy, and then an AK guy, and none of them had a freaking flashlight on any of their guns. Which is, like, insane. I don't know why. Actually, yes, this guy did. I'm such a dumbass. 55 low grade, and now we're just going to go out and just look around for a boat, I suppose. Here we go. There's a double barrel guy right here. I'm dead. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Dude, there's actually a boat right over here instantly. That is so convenient. Don't shoot at me with your bow. Do not do it. Please do not be stupid right now. Yeah, there it is. What a dumbass. You joking me? I will kill that dude right now. Oh yeah, here, here, one minute. Let me, uh... I'm done with this guy. Dumbass. <laughs> it's what has to happen, man. He wants to get smart and shoot at me. I'm gonna shoot at him, okay? I'm not trying to bother you. What? Like, how come you're just shooting at a full metal guy? He's gotta be taught a lesson. He has to be taught a lesson. Okay, well, we're here. And it's raining and it's foggy, so that overall puts me at a slight disadvantage here for other people to roll up and murder me as I'm here, but whatever. Anyway, we all know on how this right here is going to start out. We are going to just be using the uh, Bolt 4X from here just because it's just a very, very easy way to just hit some shots and not use a whole lot of bullets, you know? So it's just helpful. 
Saw someone comment, three bolts inside of a Chinook, man, that, 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 uh, that calls for one thing, suppressed sniping or something like that. Like, when I just saw suppressed sniping, I don't know, like, that shit just made me, like, kind of hyped up, like, when I just thought about it. Just being all stealthy and, and shit, you know? And just sniping motherfuckers, suppressed. Just sounds kind of fun. Son of a bitch, alright, yeah, I'm pissed off at that guy now, I'm pissed. I'm mad. About to turn green on these guys. What's up, dumb fucks? I'm here. Don't worry, I'm here. What's up, Chelsea? How are ya? That was the name of my of one of my grandma's dogs that passed away. Rest in peace, Chelsea. Gonna just eat, go ahead and just eat up here just real real quick. Let's see here, so we have a scientist there. What are you hiding for? I don't get it. I need to get a little bit warmed up. Rosaria. Kind of a cute cute name, I guess. I was about to say a cute girl name, but I don't know if Rosaria is really a... I mean, I guess it's a girl name. I don't know. Got Dimple. Got Jamie. Got Ernestine. Got Jonah. Eat up and eat up and eat up. Let's go. Robert, you in there? I had to kill Lita over here real, real quick. Don't mind me. Robert? Oh my god, Robert, you're in there. What am I going to do with you, though? Like, I mean, we both know what has to be done here, brother. We both know what has to be done here. You don't really, like, truly full-on, like, understand because, you know, you're brainwashed by the cobalt so you don't really understand that much but i just gotta let you know that one i love you and two yeah pretty much uh yeah you have to die pal and i don't even have my key cards good job dylan amazing job all right we need the freaking speed run back home right now that's pretty much what has to happen okay guys we need the speed run back home right now and go and get our key cards yo dylan good job for getting your key cards dipshit you're just too good you know that right dylan you're just too good you're just so on top of it you know and okay, we're now back. I'm guessing that the scientists have not respawned yet. I really would not think that they have, but I'm looking pretty close right now. Yeah, no, there's no scientists here. Okay, thank you, God. Oh, dude, I left the key cards there. I'm joking, guys. Calm down. All right, Robert, you need to chill out, okay? You need to... Robert? Robert? I'm joking. That was not you, Robert. This one right here is Robert. Which one's Robert when there's two of them in there, though, Dylan? Um, honestly, it's kind of a mystery. There's no way to 100% know, but I like to mostly go with this one if there's two that are inside here. I can't really tell them apart, though, like 100%. I just know that he's on guard duty inside there. That was his role that he signed up for. Got Valentine right there, and then Emery. All right, here we go. Swipe. Honestly, man, I feel like I'm gonna start taking it from these, uh, from these stairs over here, instead of the other ones. Just cause I'm, like, right here by the dock and I can easily hear a boat pull up. I'm gonna have my Vadio, or, yeah, yeah, my fucking Vadio turn back up, though, here in a minute, though, guys, don't worry. I'll turn my Vadio back up as soon as the buzzers are all done being loud as shit. I just need to make sure that one doesn't come rushing down over here, that's the thing. Just like that. All right, here we go. Okay, well, here we, here I go. Here goes nothing. Um, this angle is, like, slightly more weird to work with. Slightly more weird to work with than the one over here, but it's still, still fine, I guess. Okay, <laughs> I had to aggro him somehow. I didn't want to let him just go by. The other one literally, like, might have came down, like, the other side. I'm not going to lie. Uh, honestly, that's the one that I was shooting at, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Come on, Spaz. Let's go.
Okay. Boom. I'll take it. Not really like anything crazy BP wise, but I'm uh I'm happy with uh the auto turret and the single armor door. Those are pretty big for us. And we actually got an air drop, might as well just call it in right now. Otherwise then it's never gonna get called in, so might as well just do it now. Oh my gosh, dude, there it is. Oh dude, an airdrops are pretty crazy now, so eh, I'll take that, that's cool. Not like insane or anything, but you know, it's it's decent. Uh, 42 pistol bolts instead of two meds, yeah, all day, for sure. Okay, well, time to go ahead and get on out of here. So far, right there, or like, just not right there. We didn't really get anything that was like super good BP-wise. I mean, a single armor door could be considered good, I guess, but I'm not really... Like, like single armor door isn't like something that I'm like, oh my god, man, I need to be able to craft these things. I, it, me as a solo player that doesn't get a shit ton of high call super easily, I'm working on my freaking armored vault, you know, so... I'm not really putting my high quality into armored doors unless I'm like super, super stacked. But yeah, overall the turret's a really, really big win because I can maybe start hooking up electricity possibly. I have a battery. I think that I have electrical branch. I don't have root combiner and I don't have a switch. I don't think maybe I have a switch, but I don't think so. And right now cargo is still not out. So cargo is still not an option at the moment, unfortunately. I don't know what I'm going to go there with though. Probably just an AK, honestly. I don't know if I really want to go there with LR uh, 8X. It's not really a thing where I feel like LR 8X is super, super necessary. It can be, but I just feel like with like how closed in of like an area it is, a lot of like tight angles and whatever, like LR 8X is not going to serve like that much of a purpose. That's more of like, 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 doing cargo is more of an AK's job, in my opinion. When it comes to, like, fighting people that are on it and stuff already, lr 8 x does not beat AK, I feel like, on that. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and recycle all my components. All my components, fat, fat run. So, yeah, go ahead and, yeah, get ready for this, because it's going to it's gonna be disgusting, guys. Just know that. It's going to be disgusting. It's going to be horrendous, okay? I don't even know if that's even the right word, but I think that horrendous means, like, like... Horrendous is like, you know, like, you know, like another word for terrifying, right? And okay, boom, there we go. We well, yeah, have a, pretty much like a, like right around like a thousand scrap, which is pretty decent. I'll take it. Um, okay, I just now took damage. That was actually a pretty fast recycle run. I'm kind of happy about that. I was expecting it to take longer for some reason. Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and head on back home. I'm going to see if cargo's on the map right now. I saw someone comment like a while back, like when I was bringing up cargo for whatever reason, and they said that uh, it has to do with like how many people are on this server, and I wonder if that's true. Anyway, we should probably just go out and just get metal right now and just sheet up our entire base by the end of today. Like, that's what we should do. We should... That should be a priority of ours right now, 100%. The thing is, man, I just wish that I had a freaking jackhammer, dude. Having a freaking metal pickaxe is kind of annoying at, like, our stage, I feel like. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go ahead and take a journey right now over to, uh, over to Outpost and buy some, or buy a jackhammer. I mean, actually, when I think about it, I can just take my boat over to Outpost. Cause, or, well, I mean, Outpost isn't, like, right on the coast, but... I can, I can still, like, it's going to make, like, a shorter trip, so. Yeah, I can probably just go over there just, like, with this. Honestly, like, do I just buy low grade? Like, I don't know. Like, it's not a bad idea. I might drop, like, another 150 on some low grade, actually. Yeah, let's just dip right now. Okay, to outpost we go to go and get a jackhammer so we can start getting resources very, very efficiently. And then also we're going to buy some low grade just so we're staying afloat on being able to make meds, boat fuel, all of that good stuff. You know, and possibly get more furnaces down because we only have one furnace at the moment. So, yeah, these guys just have their settlement over here, guys. Don't worry. They're they're full on armored base. Don't worry, guys. They're, just, they're having so much fun still. Don't worry. The game's just so much fun when you have a base that's 100% armored, you know? Like, there's just so much to do and just strive for. And we are now here. Wonderful outpost. What is up? What is up? What is up? Jackhammer. A oh, boom. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. Easy jackhammer. Cool. Hearing so many fireworks go off in the distance. And don't worry, guys. That's over at, uh, what's it called? Base. The freaking guys that we just saw with the full armor base. Don't worry. They're grinding. They're going in. Oh, shit. Car goes out. Oh, my God. We got to fucking go now. There's already two crates on it, dude. There's already freaking two crates on it. Which is okay, that's fine. Inside of here. Uh, take that. Assuming that we are going to be needing to kill all of them, we are going to need a pretty good amount of meds. And take out this AK. Uh, eat up that berry right there, I guess. I think this right here will do it. I might need more 5-5. Five five. That's the thing. I might need more 5-5, five five, so I'm just going to take all that right there. 
Okay, anyway, uh, we should also just take a bolt with us as well, just because why frickin' not? We have so many of them. We probably have more bolts than any gun inside my frickin' base. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know if this is gonna be enough frickin' bolts, because the thing about cargo, go you can go to oil rig with, like, a python and, like, 20 pistol bullets and be fine on ammo, because they drop ammo. These guys, at this place, don't drop bullets. Right? They drop syringes, but they don't drop bullets. It can be a little bit risky coming here without that much ammo, so that's why I'm making sure that I'm bringing a pretty decent amount, and I need to just make sure that I'm reserving as much of it as possible as soon as I get here. And I'm not too sure if there's gonna be people here or not, but yeah, get ready. Oh yeah, there's people here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah, and they have bolts and stuff too. And guys, don't worry, don't worry. We have this guy right here in front of me, by the way. He's trying to climb on. I might as well just freaking stop my boat. And just try killing this guy. You're dead. <sighs> what if that guy is just dead over there right now? Straight up just dead. That guy literally like might be dead on there right now, dude. Like I'm not even joking. I'm gonna be real though, part of me is pretty nervous coming here like I have like all this guy's stuff now like I have no room for anything so it's like is it even worth me even going here right now probably not oh my god this is so fucking stupid dude That was one of the dumbest things that I've ever experienced in my life, dude. That was so dumb. Like, can you, like, like, okay, I'm just gonna be real. Like, I don't think that you can grab onto the ladders of this place without being on, like, on a boat. Which I think that's one of the stupidest things in the world, guys. Oh my god. What is... <laughs> guys. Guys, I'm actually done with this game right now. I literally just now hit climb, dude. And now my boat is flipped upside down. Okay, what is going on? Okay, what is this? Okay, I don't know if this is good. I've seen people make plays from this spot, but um, this is not what I wanted. But whatever. We see what happens, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, this is a pretty common spot to check from up there, but I don't even know what even just now happened. Like, I literally hit climb, my boat flips over, and then I'm just fucked, so. If I die, I'm just gonna prepare my, my mind up right now. Fuck it, who cares, Dylan, doesn't even matter. I just need to prepare my mind up for that moment, because I did not intend to do it this way. And I could have climbed on multiple different times and probably got the jump on him and killed him. They weren't even checking on the side, like, they weren't even aware of me at all. Damn, dude, that fucking sucks. And I hate aiming vertically, because right now if I move my mouse to the right, it does that. It's like, it's so hard to aim, like, as, like, you're aiming up, I feel like. It's annoying. Anyone that comes to this place, by the way, that is coming from the back is literally gonna see me, guys. They're gonna see me. This is a pretty common spot to check, though, guys. I'm just letting you guys know, like... When people jump across their boat, some some of them like to look down. Not all the time. Some people have made, like, really, really big come-ups from down here. So, that could happen to us. We could have, like, a super, super big come-up and kill the guys, but... I guess that as soon as they drop this thing, I'm just gonna try mounting in. Because the second that they drop off, they're gonna be, like... This thing's gonna be going forward. This thing's gonna be going forward, and they're just gonna drop down and then just go, like, far away from me, right? So it's either that I just let them do that and then just try shooting off here and just killing them or I try mounting onto it maybe. But the thing is, if I fall off this thing, then I'm then I'm screwed. So I don't know. I'm just going to let this whole situation just kind of flow and just kind of see, uh, see where it goes, okay? It's a little bit scary because if this boat, this cargo thing, you guys see these piles out here in the middle of this place? If it runs into one of those piles and it's, li and it's lined up directly with the center of this thing, then it hits me, I'm going to get knocked off this thing. So kind of the issue. We might get unlucky and just get pushed off like that, but if so, whatever, I guess. 
Oh shit, yeah, see that right there? If like the box, dude, I, I just now went in between that right there. If, if one of those barrels or boxes hit me dead on, I would have just now been knocked off this thing. I wish that when this thing hit those piles, it would just demolish them and just break them. But instead, they just go straight through the entire boat. I feel like that should not be a thing. Oh my god, man, they're like right there. I think there's two of them that are on here, though. So if it's only two guys, then this is easy, I think. But just know that if they do spot me... And just know that if they do jump across or like they like peek down here and see me i'm good as dead it's so easy to peek into me and kill me it's harder for me to aim like like this because it's like it i don't know like i move my mouse to the right that happens like so instead i have to like i don't know it's weird these guys are just killing scientists that are over here right now i don't know if i should just keep my eyes up there honestly i feel like i shouldn't like if they peek from from up here and see me like there's two of them i'm gonna die no matter what I feel like. And even if I kill them, what is that going to do for me? What is that going to do for me? I'm not going to be able to get on this freaking boat. The only way that I get out of this with any loot at all is if these guys drop down on this boat, then I kill them. If I kill them as they're up there, that does nothing for me. I can't loot them as they're up there. I can't get in the boat. Nothing. So I feel like it's kind of a waste time of me even looking up there. I should just be watching my back for, uh, for other boats to show up. Oh. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. I didn't, like, when you get knocked off this thing, you still just, like, hold on to it. What the fuck? That was it right there. Like, that was, like, it was over for me right there. Oh. Son, don't screw me. Let's seeing how many of them cross over and jump over. Well, if one of them jumps over right here and I don't see him, then that could fuck everything up. Eh, one. jump just one guy I guess what the thing is the fucking boat is flipped over bro is there a way to flip it back over dude there better be a way to flip this bitch back over if there's not then that's fucking ridiculous no way that there's just not a way to flip it over guys right Thank God, dude. Thank the Lord. Let me in here. Let me in here. So it was only one guy, man. That's ridiculous. Ugh, honestly, I don't know if I actually would have just now did that if it was more than one. I'm going to be real. Got explosive, though, man. That's big right there. That's big. Dude, I feel so fucking bad. I actually feel bad. actually feel so bad dude oh my god <laughs> i didn't mean for it to be like this okay man i didn't want to kill you like that it was forced upon me okay man i tried to climb up twice i am not okay well i mean at least it worked out you know like, i have to be somewhat happy i'm not door camping bro i'm just harvesting your flesh hey, hey. what hey, bro. I'm eating what? this man. You what wanna be a cannibal with me? You wanna be a cannibal I've with me? I've already been a cannibal. Dude, I've been a cannibal cannibals for such a long time, man. I've been eating a lot of oh, yeah, raw human flesh. Alright, one minute here, let me turn it's not, I got not good. Stack of 15. I know, I gotta keep drinking Ooh. water, bro. Yeah, yeah man. How's the, the only how's the, how's the white What's that up? The only reasonable source of food is cannibalism. Just human meat. It's the only sensible way to eat food. Naked's on the beach, so I just cut them up and eat them. <laughs> yeah, man. Exactly. Here, take some sulfur. There you am, man. And also, here. Here. You want to get something real nice? Here. Usually, I would make people pay for this, but take some water. Get Thank a you, shower, please. man. Take a shower. Let me baptize you in the water. You wanna go check out that boat over there? You wanna go look sure. at it? Brother, There's some water on it. They're able to leave on it, but that's okay. Okay, we have a freaking jackhammer right now, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I just wanna dip right now and just go and do my own thing, but I have these weirdos that are outside, that's the problem.
feel like I would almost rather invest all my metal that I cook up into metal honeycomb rather than metal walls. Do the majority of all my walls to armored and then just do sheet honeycomb right now, just nice and early. That'll make people paranoid about raiding me. Thing is, I need to expand out my front airlock and get that armored door down, so. We just now got a pretty good amount of stuff, though, so. So, pretty much I just now ended up going back home, getting some metal cooking, storing all the stone, obviously for the base, for us to expand out, like, our airlock and everything, because our base is just trash right now for everything that we have. It's actually stupid to think about. We easily have a box of guns right now, no doubt. And uh, as I was out on our mining run, I ended up seeing a decayed base. It wasn't like anything too serious, but the TC was locked. So right now we're going to go over there and destroy it and see what's inside. So yeah. Someone else already destroy it? Nope. Thank God. Nice. It is in kind of a hidden spot, so. All right, here we go. Legendary. Yeah, like that 100 high qual literally just now got us a fully uh, armored vault, so. So pretty much I'm going to go outside just with wood right now, just a bit of wood, and start trying to, uh, not really, not, or like, yeah, like I guess expand, but at the same time just kind of experiment exactly how I want to expand. Yeah, so we're going to have like this right here, and then pss, don't ask me how this whole thing goes, guys. Please, please don't. I don't even, okay, like, this is literally, like, the same expanded out thing as, like, one of my other bases, like, the 2020 base, I'm pretty sure. That's wrong. Now I just need a frickin' door. And then I'm all good. And okay, nice. I might as well just do all this right here right now as well. Oh god. Oh goodness. There's no way that I have enough for all this right here. Zero chance. Literally zero chance. Yeah, don't ask me what the upstairs of this base is ever going to be. I don't even know what the hell this is, but okay. Doing his small garden over there, man. Aww. I have my neighbor that's gardening, guys. How cute. Alright, well, we have a fully armored vault. They're going through armored no matter what. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty freaking awesome. And since I don't have garage door or a freaking double armored door, this right here, right now, there's two days left of wipe after this. Right now, it's literally Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday. So tomorrow's actually last day of wipe when you think about it. So I'm just trying to use up as much stuff as I can. Eat that right there up. And then I have a triangle ladder hatch, my friends. Yes, I'm remembering stuff, guys, that I need to be remembering. So I think that... I just now scared you guys. That just now scared you. I just now scared the shit out of you guys. Come on. You guys are, like, you guys are, like, aren't, like, you, like, like, you guys are supposed to be men, okay? What the fuck was that all about? How do you get scared over that small of a thing? Oh, my God. I guess that I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Dylan, please learn some stuff with your freaking scrap. Dear Lord. Oh, my goodness. Like, what guns do you even have on here? You don't even have semi. Yeah, like, you need to learn stuff with all of your scrap right now. I have one semi here somewhere. Yeah, right here. I need to learn this thing very, very badly. So we're going to learn explosive, semi, and what else should I learn? Uh, do I have anything that's electric? Yeah, I have nothing that's electrical here. Take out that. Uh, what else? I don't really care about learning large battery, I don't think. Double barrel I'll learn. What ammos do I have learned? None at all? Okay, what the fuck? Dylan, what are you actually- like, you were just about to get off. Like, this is supposed to be a BP wipe, Dylan. You're supposed to be, like, grinding out blueprints right now. What are you thinking? Yeah, let's just start with this right here, though, I guess, okay? Okay, explosive time. Boom. Just learn that one just right away. It's the most important one here. Then semi comes next. Okay, well, I just now learned everything. I couldn't learn 5.56, five, which is fine, because I can just craft a semi, then 5.56 five, comes in the semi when crafting it, so it's not really a big deal. I can learn that eventually tomorrow or whenever I play on here and need 5.5, five, make a semi, and get 5.5. Five, five. Pretty simple. Do that. That right there, and now I am all ready to freaking log out. I am all ready to. It's real, real quick. Let me just go ahead and just make a little bit more handmade shells. 
for my shoddy trap right here. 39 hours of upkeep, 8 HP starving. Get that inside there. Okay, yeah, we're all freaking good. That should be solid, man. Should be solid. It should only, like, like, it should be an armored wall to get in, like, literally no matter what. Hopefully I'm not messing this up at all, but... Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys made it to the end of this video, comment BP because we're just on that fucking grind. You feel me? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Love you. Bye. Peace.